Back at the Superdome in New Orleans. Getting set for the New Orleans Saints and Arizona Cardinals. Take a look at some of the key inactives. Tragedy hit the Arizona Cardinals family. Dan Williams, their starting nose tackle. His family was driving down from Memphis for this game on Friday. We're in a serious car accident. And Dan Williams' dad was killed in the accident. And we send along our deepest condolences. He, of course, will not be in the game today. For New Orleans, Mark Ingram, the running yes. back, former first-round pick, is down. Roland, Roman Harper, the starting safety, and Broderick Bunkley, the starting nose tackle. Three physical players. Mark Ingram, your thumper at running back. Roman Harper, your box safety that loves to hit. A great sack artist. And then Broderick Bunkley, your starting nose tackle. We'll see how this run defense holds up today without those two. Sean Payton, boy, we talked with him over the weekend. You could just feel the excitement in him every game after sitting out last season with a suspension. The Cardinals won the toss selected to receive. The kickoff is down. And the Cardinals will go on offense with Carson Palmer leading the way. The veteran quarterback who led the way to a nice comeback victory in the fourth quarter last week over the Detroit Lions, his 14th career fourth quarter comeback for victory. Yes, he played well, well down the stretch. Big completions, and they ran the ball well down the stretch. And Larry Fitzgerald, who was bothered by a hamstring last week, is in the starting lineup and out to the left side. They open with two tight ends, Jim Trey and Rod Hostler. And Palmer to put it up. Outside completes it to Michael Floyd up to the 29-yard line, a gain of nine on the play. Jamari Greer covering on the play. Michael Floyd, great catch, good ball placement by Carson Palmer. Control of the ball, two feet inbounds. Way to start the drive. I know Bruce Arians is happy with that one. Floyd goes to the sideline. They bring in a third tight end, Corey Sperry. Full complement of tight ends now for Arizona with Rob Hausler back, and they're very happy about that. On second and one, Richard Mendenhall battling to get to the first down line. He doesn't do it. Great work up front by the Saints. Led by Akeem Hicks, number 76. The big Akeem Hicks. Yes. He's talking 6'5", 320 pounds. Very active, young defensive player. Some key players to watch today. You saw Levi Brown on the offensive line. That'll be important. Here's third and half a yard. They've got a tackle eligible. And it's Mendenhall for a first down. And there's a flag on the play. And we'll check that out. We'll see what this call is. Walt Coleman is our referee. There's no foul on the play. 76 reported as an eligible receiver. First down. That was Nate Potter who was in. And they went straight ahead power. Well, and that's what Bruce wants to be. He wants to be a power football team on first down, second down, and third down when need be. Nate Potter brought in as that basically your big blocking tight end, a backup offensive tackle. Tough yards earned there on third and short. Mendenhall had a good game last week, but they, they want more from their running game. Well, I think it's more numbers. Um, yards per carry obviously want to increase. They've got to get him more touches. Three wide receivers in. Puts it up, completes it to Michael Floyd. He holds on after the hit by Jabari Greer. Interesting point by Bruce Harris. He talked about the, the details of last week. Young players, young wide receivers, Michael Floyd his second year. Bruce was talking about just the yard difference in crucial times in the game. Players not getting to their depth on their routes and really disrupting the rhythm and the timing that Carson needed. So he's got to be happy with the start that he's getting from Michael Floyd. Patrick Peterson, the... Pro Bowl cornerback is in on offense and in the slot on second and three. Peterson goes in motion. They hand it off to Andre Ellington. And he gets a couple of yards up to the 41-yard line. He gets two. It'll bring up a third and one. Saints players to watch on defense. Curtis Lofton has become a leader. Yes, he with has. With Jonathan Vilma out. 76 is an eligible. 
Well, Nate Potter back in the game here in another third and short situation, but your rookie, Kenny Vaccaro, Cameron Jordan, speaking of third and short, this is where these big boys play dividends. And again, Nate Potter in as an extra tight end. They motion Larry Fitzgerald on third and one. And it's Richard Mendenhall. There's nothing there. He tries to push the pile, and it looks like he's got enough. Good effort by Mendenhall. He just pushed the big wall in front of him. Well, you see those big offensive linemen continue to churn their feet. This is the tough yardage. This is the, the toughness that Bruce Arians wants to bring to the table. What, was been, what has been lacking the last couple of years? Good finish by Richard. Good finish. You see Nate Potter, the backup tackle in there in the tight end position, pushing the pile there at the end. Two backs in now, Richard Mednett-Hall and Andre Ellington. Ellington, the rookie out of Clemson, who scored a touchdown last week. Out of a very a similar formation, just like this. There he goes in motion. On first down, Palmer gets pressured, dropped it off to Richard Mendenhall with room. And a nice pickup into Saints territory, down to the 47-yard line. He's got enough for a first down. Kenny Vaccaro finally brings down Richard Mendenhall. I love the patience of your back here. This is a, a veteran back. You see him. He's checking presence. Let me help on Cam Jordan a little bit. He lets the space clear. And great job by Carson Palmer managing the down. You can see the way his drop, his eyes were down the field. Wanted to fire it downfield for a strike. Hey, listen, take the easy yards that they give your back. Alfonso Smith now in the backfield with Ellington. It's a first down at the Saints 45. The toss to Smith. Bounces off one man, turns it into a big gainer. Alfonso Smith out of bounds at the Saints 24-yard line. Levi Brown with a big block to spring Alfonso Smith. Well, the funny thing here, partner, you have Andre Ellington. This is your backup tailback. This is a, a young 200-pound guy playing the fullback position. Look out, he gets out here. Malcolm Jenkins gets a little nice shoulder block, and then... More space created. This is Bruce Arians designing things that normally you don't see your backup tailback in the fullback position. Longest run of the early season for the Cardinals. 21 yards by Alfonso Smith. Hausler shifts. Palmer on first down with time. He throws. Fitzgerald holds on at the 8-yard line. Beautiful catch by Larry Fitzgerald. Kenny Vaccaro covering on the play. Fitzgerald looked very healthy on that one. Well, Larry's just Larry. You're going to see him push in here, get across, timing, rhythm again. This is just Larry. The ball's placed decently, I would say, but those big, strong hands that every coach we've talked to about Larry reaches out, snatches that ball. Big grab for Carson Palmer. Tenth play of the drive. First and goal, Cardinals at the eight. And this is where they want to be better in the red zone. Palmer gets time, and he tried to hit the tight end Jim Dre. Late flag. Might have been holding on the play. I believe it will be. You see Jim Dre trying to get free across the ball. Pass interference, number 50. Defense, ball be placed in the spot of the foul. First down. Curtis Lofton called for the interference. Well, Jim Dre, a basic tight end route. You're going to see him right here. Curtis Lofton's coming over to guard, and you're going to see at the end the snatch, the pull of the jersey, that back angle view for your back judge. Very easy in the red zone because the field is so condensed. Very easy call. First and goal for the Cardinals at the three-yard line. Alfonso Smith, the running back. Three wide receivers. Palmer with a fade for Andre Roberts. He couldn't hold it. Off his fingertips. Jabari Greer covering on the play for the Saints. This is the beauty of Andre Roberts. Call him Larry Fitzgerald's little brother. You see the speedy hips. You see the transitional skills. He was able to set Jabari Greer up inside, went outside. The timing, the rhythm, all the things that we hear from Bruce Arians, the, the, the constant process of this offense building to what they needed to be just a hair off. First incompletion for Palmer on this drive. He's four for five. Alfonso Smith and Andre Ellington in the backfield for the Cardinals. The toss to Smith. Aiming for the corner. Bounced off one man. He got in. Touchdown. Strong run by Alfonso Smith. And an 80-yard drive to start the game for the Arizona Cardinals. And again, I've got to give some love 
to my young backup tailback. This is Andre Ellington again, pulling out here. Again, this is a tailback, throwing his body in the way. Alvonzo Smith hits the edge, dips his shoulder. Beautiful finish there at the end by these young running backs. What a drive by the Cardinals. And good rotation in the backfield. We saw Richard Mendenhall, Andre Ellington, and Alfonso Smith all contributing. Well, and this is what Bruce Arians wants to be. Constant. Keep the defense guessing. What's your personnel? What's the formation? What's the shifts? What's the motions? Jay Feely for the extra point. Cardinals get on the board to start the game. 11 play, 80 yard drive, it's seven to nothing. This is a thing of beauty. You see the young back, Alfonso Smith, praising the crowd, looking for his boys. Big Larry, giving them some love. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. 11 plays, 80 yards, first points, first first quarter points that the Cardinals have had in any of their three games this season. And they put seven on the board. Alfonso Smith with the three-yard touchdown. Feely kicks it off. Darren Sproles, nine yards deep, takes a knee. We're not seeing those runbacks. I like those runbacks. He, you're a special teams guy. You gotta love that. Here comes Drew Brees getting ready to lead his New Orleans Saints. Now he's got to lead them back from behind. Today's game is sponsored by Bud Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. We are back in the Superdome with the Saints trailing the Arizona Cardinals, and there is Drew Brees, who has put up fantastic numbers last season. Over 40 touchdown passes. You see over 44,000 yards in seven consecutive seasons, along with 25 or more touchdowns. And he starts out of the shotgun. Darren Sproles in the backfield with him. Everybody out. Goes to the tight end, Ben Watson. And Watson gets up to the, close to the 35. While everybody's waiting for Jimmy Graham, he goes to Ben Watson. Well, and this is just the quickness mentally of Drew Brees. It's very simple. You see, say, you see Benjamin Watson right here. This is all pre-snap. Drew sees what he sees, gets the ball out so quick, had the front, the defense. The mind is the most powerful weapon of Drew Brees. Was Ben in New England when you were there? Yes, Ben Watson and I were teammates for four good years in New England. What do you remember about him? He's an ultimate character guy. He's the work ethic, the gym rat. Smart, tough, and physical. Sean Payton's tight player. This is to the man out of the backfield, Pierre Thomas, with a gain up to the 43-yard line, just short of the first down. Gain of nine on the play. Players to watch on offense for the Saints today. Yes. They're starting a rookie out of Grand Valley State, Tim Lolito at right guard, Jari Evans, the all-pro. An undrafted rookie free agent, which is even more impressive. Sean Payton couldn't have praised him more. Lance Moore, Darren Sproles. Possession guys, but guys that can make splash plays in the pass Yellow game. Lady. And Darren Yellow in the run lady. game Yellow as well. Lady. Ready. Here's second Ready. and Black one for the Saints. And that time, Pierre Thomas stopped in the backfield for a loss of a couple of yards. Time for a game back. A game break. For that, let's go to Kurt Benefee. Bengals scored in the opening possession. Then the Packers muffed the following kickoff. Jeremy Ross coughs it up. Bengals recover, score another touchdown. They lead it 14-0 before Aaron Rodgers and company have even touched the ball, Sam and Heath. Bengals off to a great start against the Packers. Mm, that's a tough football team this year. Defense, special teams, offense. Here's third and three out of the shotgun. Outside to Jimmy Graham. Breaks one tackle, taken out of bounds. By Gerard Powers, but a first down for the Saints. Jimmy Graham who caught 10 passes last week. I spoke a minute ago about the quickness. You just see this real quick. Quick play action fake, freeze, hold the defense. Jimmy Graham does the rest. How do you match up with Jimmy Graham? 6'7", he told us he weighs 270. <laughs> and he still says he swears he runs a 4'49". Oh no, he does, 40. Partner, this guy can run like a deer. Oh, and man. To answer your question, you don't Wait. match up with Jimmy Graham. Wait, he's hot. Easy. 22. Hard count Drew by Allstate. Drew Brees, Drew almost Allstate. threw the Cardinals offside. Ready. Ready. Let's coming. They pick it up. 
Breeze going deep for Ben Watson, just overthrown. That time again, he went to the second tight end, sent both tight ends deep on that play. Here's the beauty of Pierre Thomas. Yes, we know the screen runner. We know everything he does. Watch this blitz and watch this back. Fly up in here, completely annihilate the blitz pressure. You give Drew the pocket that he needs. Carlos Dansby is an amazing pass rusher. One of the few guys, I think he's over 30 sacks in his career. Great job by Pierre Thomas. Kenny Stills is in as a third wide receiver, and they split Darren Spro Sproles into the slot, second and 10 at the Cardinals, 45. Breeze gets time, and his pass is caught by Marcus Colston. Colston inside the 25, and down at the 21-yard line. Carlos Dansby, the tackle, gain of 24 on the play. This is typical. You're going to see Marcus Colson. You've got Darren Sproles coming over here. All the attention is drawn. What do we hear Bruce Arians say? Where's Darren Sproles? You're going to see Marcus Colston cross the window. I don't know how many times I've seen Drew Brees and Marcus Colson hook up on this very play. It's that 15-yard crosser with someone the size and speed of Marcus Colston. One of those routes is just difficult to defend. And we talked about tough matchup against Jimmy Graham, tough matchup against Marcus Colston. Everybody out. Breeze being rushed. Down he goes. Great play by Darnell Dockett to take him down with an ankle tackle. And this is a rarity. Very rarely do we see Drew Brees get brought down by the first defender. I mean, Darnell Dockett, you're going to see him lined up in here. You're gonna, he'll beat the pressure. He gets inside. Tim Lolito, your rookie undrafted free agent. Darnell Dockett is a handful. This is a 10-year veteran. Strength, power, size, speed. Tim's going to have his hands full today. Second sack of the season for the Cardinals. Dockett's first. Loss of six on the play. Aaron Sproles is in and split out. Everybody out. He's going long for Robert Beach and touchdown! This the beauty you got mark you got me from here but watch darren sproles come in here you're going to draw all this attention and then you watch the end of the play this is the play design look at all the guys fly up you take advantage of the instincts of players where's darren sproles the quick screen one of their favorite calls on second and a short distance and then sean payton the offensive genius Dials it up. Robert Meacham, welcome home to New Orleans, That's buddy. That's right. He went to San Diego. It didn't work out. They wanted to trade for Robert Meacham. Chargers said no. A couple of weeks later, they put him on waivers. Saints brought him back. That's his first catch of the season. It's a touchdown. The game is tied. Today's game is sponsored by the 2013 Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. By KFC, the official sponsor of Couch Gating. KFC plus football equals Couch Gating. And by Gatorade. Gatorade knows it all begins within. Win from within. A great answer by the Saints. They go 80 yards in eight plays. Drew Brees, five for six for 88 yards, and hits Robert Meacham with a 27-yard touchdown pass. First points given up in the first quarter by the Arizona Cardinals, and the game tied. Javier Arenas is deep for the Cardinals. Thomas Morstead kicks it off. This will be returned from the one-yard line. Arenas out to the 20. Brought down. Want to see a perfectly thrown touchdown pass? Drew Brees lays it right in there for Robert Meacham. This is what you call artistry in motion. The play design of Sean Payton. Scrolls here, the fake. You watch the draw and the tension of the defenders. And then the rest is history. Robert Meacham kind of bluffs like he's going to block for Darren Sproles on the quick screen. Takes off with the speed, and they have missed the electrifying speed of Robert Meacham. He's hard to keep up with. When he's healthy, not too many people in this business can run with him. Cardinals' second possession starts at their 21-yard line. Richard Mendenhall, the running back. Two tight ends in. Palmer Green rushed. They got him. Junior Gillette. The outside linebacker went right around Levi Brown for the sack. Well, 
Levi Brown, week one, St. Louis, struggled. Last week was better, but this is not Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer needs to be comfortable. Here's Junior Gallette coming off the end. Levi Brown, listen, this guy was a, a monster when healthy. Missed last year with an injury. This is just one-on-one. -on -one. Mono and mono, Junior Gallette, round one goes to him. Loss of 10, second and 20. Andre Ellington in the backfield with Carson Palmer. Jalon Brown in as the third wide receiver. Palmer gets time, drops it off to Ellington. He's got good speed and good moves. And he's up to the 28-yard line. Nice little play. Ellington becoming very dangerous. And again, full march to Bruce Arians for incorporating these young backs. Yes, it's a thing of beauty. Watch the pocket for Carson Palmer. And this is almost a, a copycat play from Detroit against Arizona last week that Reggie Bush ran against him. Great job by Andre Ellington getting his hands on the ball, being patient to set up the route, and then getting his pads downfield. Third and three for the Cardinals. Stephon Taylor, a rookie running back out of Stanford, is split out to the left side. Empty backfield. Palmer gets protection. And the pass completed to Taylor, but he's brought down short of the first down by Kenny Vaccaro, the first round pick out of Texas. Nice play by Vaccaro. You, you love Kenny Vaccaro. Obviously, this is your young rookie player. He is inside, almost in a linebacker position. You're going to see Stephon Taylor come across. But this is more of those details that Bruce Arians was preaching about all week. Third and three. Get to your depth. Get the three yards based on how you run your route. Don't run the route at one and a half or two yards and expect to catch and then run the distance. Those details are going to continue to frustrate Bruce Arians until his players get them corrected. Darren Sproles on the return of the Dave Zastadol punt. Couple of good moves. The flag down back at the 22-yard line. And it'll look like they'll bring that return back. Alex Okafor with a tackle for Arizona on the very slippery Darren Sproles. Paul Coleman. Illegal block in the back. Number 31 at the return team. Learn to return. King yard penalty. First down. Chris Carr was just re-signed this week when Patrick Robinson went down with a penalty. Great play by Vaccaro as he stops Stefan Taylor short of the first down. Here's a show you really want to watch. This is a good one. Today on Fox, series premiere of Being Mike Tyson. Critics are calling it brutally honest. Most revealing portrait of Mike Tyson yet. You think you know him? Think again. Being Mike Tyson premieres today following football on Fox. Two episodes Tuesdays on Fox Sports 1. To find Fox Sports 1 on your provider, go to foxsports1.com. Now, Mike Tyson on the pregame show. He hit Michael Strahan with a nice short pass. Strahan's got those sweet hands still. There you go. Saints start from the 12-yard line. Second possession. Tim Lolito, rookie out of Grand Valley State, is the right guard. Jari Evans out. The pass over the middle is complete. Up to the 17-yard line to Lance Moore. Good group of receivers that the Saints have. Well, the word that comes to mind is smart. We know the Marcus Colston. We saw Meacham a minute ago. There's all kind of have their, their particular knack for Drew Brees, but Lance Moore, his, I think the greatest thing about Lance is what he does in space, his feel of the defensive surroundings. The rookie out of Oklahoma, Kenny Stills, is in the lineup. And on the field, Brees checking off on second and four. Everybody out. Brees puts it out to Darren Stroll. Slips one man. And Gerard Powers takes him down. It's a first down at the 29-yard line. Time for an update. Here's Kurt Manapain. 59-yard drive by the Carolina Panthers. Cam Newton ran for 40 yards on it. But Mike Tolbert scored the touchdown. On fourth and one, he takes it two yards and dances his way into the end zone. 7-0 over the Giants. Sam and Heath. Carolina looking for their first win. The Giants looking for their first win. And that, Carolina gets the good start. That Giants score is hurting you now, Sam, is mm -mm. And we saw Cooper Manning Ready. before the game. He said that Eli is holding up okay. Here's Breeze on first down. Screen pass. Pierre Thomas. He's upended. 
at the 30-yard line, get him a yard on the play. Carlos Dansby, nice tackle on the play. We mentioned the lead. Let's take a look at this play again. Go ahead. Well, the Saints are one of the best screen teams in all the business, but everything is about timing. These linemen have to get out in rhythm with Pierre Thomas. They get held up a little bit, and then you see the defenders there ready to make the tackle. Great play by Carlos Dansby, fighting off the, the defender, or the, excuse me, the blocker, and then getting his shoulders on the legs of Pierre Thomas. Breeze is eight for nine for 104 yards with a one touchdown pass on second and nine. Breeze gets time, and he hits Jimmy Graham, and he gets away from Lorenzo Alexander, gets a couple more yards and a first down at the 41. Last week, Jimmy Graham was targeted 16 times, yes. but 10 passes for 179 yards. The beauty of Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham and this relationship that has only blossomed even more is the timing and rhythm that they've created. I think this is Lorenzo Alexander for the Arizona Cardinals on defense that's down on the field injured. We'll get you up to yeah. date there to an injury report as fast as we can. But Jimmy Graham, you you saw Drew hit his last step in the pocket. I was watching Jimmy kind of pace himself off the line of scrimmage, just working for the rhythm and timing that they were trying to create. And it was spot on. One, two, three, ball out. Thing of beauty. We'll, we'll get you an update on Lorenzo Alexander here in just a second. Hopefully for the Cardinals, it's not too serious. Check out the injury here. If we can pick up something, Alexander making the trying to make the tackle on Jimmy Graham. It's a foot injury of some sort, and he was helped to the sideline. This is the scary part. You, you don't see anything that's drastic, but with the foot injuries, they're uh, tough to diagnose and they're tough to heal from as well. Matt Shaughnessy, number 91, replaces Lorenzo Alexander on first down. Breeze being rushed down, he goes. Outstanding play by the linebacker Sam Acho, second sack of the game for the Cardinals. This is Sam Acho coming off, coming off the edge on the veteran tight end. You can see Ben Watson here, Sam Acho, and then he just beats him with speed around the edge. It looks like Ben's eyes were inside a little bit, a little hezy, a little hesitant off the off the line. Sam Acho, you see the excitement. This is a big, fast outside linebacker. Some concern on the offensive line for the Saints. That's the eighth sack on Drew Brees this season. In game number, th we're in game number three. Come to the end of the first quarter. That is the end of the first quarter. The offenses were in sync for both teams. 7-7, seven, seven, end of the first. Sam, the number one question I got last year while Sean Payton was serving his suspension was, what was mostly missing? It's this right here, the accountability. The instant accountability, Ben Watson gave up a sack to Sam Acho that last play, where is Sean Payton? Let me find Benjamin Watson. What happened? What was the protection? What went wrong? And that accountability factor, it was lacking. It was dr drastically missed last season. Saints start Wonder. second and 19 on their Ready. own 32. Last time Breeze was sacked, he Ready. answered back with a touchdown pass. Play fake. Looking to put it up deep for Jimmy Graham. And it's a little overthrown, incomplete. Rashad Johnson over with a hit on Jimmy Graham after the incompletion. And let's bring in our sideline reporter, Molly McGrath, down along the sideline. Molly, what's happening? Thanks, Sam. This past April, after not talking or seeing each other for over 15 months, Drew Brees and Sean Payton sat down for over three hours and talked about everything but football. Brees told us that it was like sitting down with an old friend and he felt like time had never passed. But he did say that since that day, it's been back to business and all about football. Sam? You're right about that. Sean says he's still getting back into the rhythm of being a head coach. Pressure on, and Bru Drew Brees throws it at the feet of the would-be receiver. Right now, they've only tried one running play, so the Saints have been virtually all pass and no run game. Which is really opposite of what Sean Payton came into the season wanting to be, wanting to be balanced. But you really kind of just saw the veteran leadership there of Drew Brees a minute ago. It's third and 19. Your chances of picking it up. No, no, no reason to throw it into traffic. Throw the screen pass on the ground. Patrick Peterson fielded extra punts in practice this week. High kick from Thomas Morstead. Fair catch. Called for by Peterson at the Cardinals 21-yard line. Each team scored on their first possession, then got stopped on their second. Cardinals with the ball when we come back. 
Today's Game on Fox is sponsored by Windows Phone. Meet the new Windows Phone, the smartphone reinvented around you. By Lowe's. Lowe's never stop improving. And by the U.S. Postal Service. It's a beautiful country down here. Sam Rosen, Heath Evans, Molly McGrath. Here in New Orleans, where the Arizona Cardinals have shown some balance, more balance than the Saints on offense. Definitely. You see these two numbers right here. Unacceptable. Minus two yards on one rush for the New Orleans Saints, and then two sacks in the first quarter. Cardinals start from the 21-yard line. Andre Ellington is the running back. Palmer putting it up deep for Jerron Brown, and he overthrew him. Well covered on the play by Keenan Lewis. Keenan Lewis signed as a free agent after playing last season with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jerron Brown here, you see him 13 in your screen. He almost hangs Carson Palmer out to drive. You see Keenan Lewis, he's finishing the play. Jerron Brown's got to run through that. He's got to finish this route. I might argue that that might have been catchable. You can't stutter your feet, Keenan Lewis. An experienced vet is going to try to bump you, see what he can get away with, try to disrupt the rhythm, but Ron Brown's got to continue to run through that play. Two running backs in, Ellington on the wing. Richard Mendenhall cutting it back and gets up to the 27-yard line, a pickup of six on the play. Two University of Illinois running backs in this game, Richard Mendenhall for the Cardinals, Pierre Thomas for the Saints. This is what I think Sean Payton wants to get rid of with Rob Ryan. You see the push from the Cardinals offensive line, resetting the line of scrimmage. The run game dominance. New Orleans struggled last week versus Tampa Bay, a very good run football team today. They're picking up where they left off last week. Three wide receivers in on third and four. Everybody out. Palmer throwing, and the catch made by Rob Hausler. But there's a flag on the play. Hausler playing his first game of the season. Was injured in preseason, an ankle injury. They brought him along. They were careful not to rush him back. And now he feels 100%. Well, we know we know Jimmy Graham. This is a household name, what he brings to the table. Rob Hausler is that same type of guy. Big, long, lean, that they want to get in mismatch. You see Kenny Vaccaro. Illegal use of the hands, number 28. On the defense, that penalty will be declined. The result of the play, first down. I was just talking about King Lewis, and he was the one that gets black for the penalty decline. But Vaccaro, you know, on Rob Hausler, height, weight, speed, obviously they're equal, but it's the matchup nightmares that these big tight ends create. Mm. Hausler, 6'5", 250, caught 45 passes last season. First down, Cardinals at the 40-yard line. Two backs in, Ellington and Mendenhall. Mendenhall finds a little room. It's up to the 44, a pick of a four on the play. And the Cardinals mixing it up. Carson Palmer is seven for nine. This is Bruce Arians at his best. Again, Andre Ellington, a smaller tailback in a fullback position. You see Rashard Mendenhall. Just your basic inside zone read. He's basically just feeling it out. And you see what Bruce is doing. He is balancing this attack. He's opening up the whole field for Carson Palmer and making Rob Ryan, the defensive coordinator for the New Orleans Saints, defend every inch of this field. Two tight ends in, Jim Dre and Rob Hausler. And two wide receivers. Palmer being blitz, they pick it up and he completes it to Larry Fitzgerald. First down at the Saints 44. A gain of 12 on the play. Good job by Palmer hanging in there with the blitz coming. Well, and you're going to see Rob Ryan. You're going to see guys coming from everywhere. Kenny Vaccaro, Rashard Mendenhall, no problem for him to pick up. The timing, again, listen, Carson had one more second to hold that ball in the pocket, waited for Larry to come open, diced it in there, a thing of beauty. Larry Fitzgerald, two catches, 28 yards. Cardinals on the move. Drive started at the 21. Rashard Mendenhall. Picks up two on the play. Let's find out what's happening in Washington. Hey, let's go to L.A. to Kurt Benefit. And we'll take you right back there with the highlights. Matthew Stafford sidearm. Nice catch by Joseph Fourier. Five yards on the score. Lions with the lead, 14-7 in the second quarter, Sam and Heath. Thanks, Kurt. There's Fourier with that touchdown dance that he did opening day. 
<laughs> we need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> Give him a call, partner. Second and eight for the Cardinals. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Everybody out. Oh, Palmer was hit hard as he got rid of it. Big pressure from Junior Collette again. This is another undrafted free agent that Sean Payton has stockpiled on the team. Watch this spin move on Levi Brown. Set him up with speed outside, swivel the hips. Carson Palmer, great job just getting rid of it. Here we are again, third and eight. This Arizona team last week, one of 11 on third down. This is not where Bruce Arians wants to be. Better start on third downs in this game, three for four. Let's see what happens here. Patrick Peterson is in the game, just went in motion. Second time he's been in, he's in the slot. Timeout, says Carson Palmer. Time was running down. Game timeout, Arizona. Game tied at seven. A third and eight play coming up for the Cardinals. They'll talk it over. One of the first things Sean Payton did when he was reinstated as head coach was hire Rob Ryan as his defensive coordinator. You don't get better defensive football pedigree than one of the Ryan boys. There's a big third and eight. Patrick Peterson stays in the game for the Cardinals on offense. Palmer steps up and throws incomplete. Peterson wanted a flag. He slipped and fell. And he was waving to the official, but no flag on the play. Well, you got Larry Fitzgerald and Patrick stacked here. You're going to see Larry clear this out. You're going to see Pat try to get up under here. Crosses up under, but this is kind of the cardinal sin. You don't ever want to leave your quarterback hanging out the right. You always cross the defender's face because Malcolm Jenkins could have picked that ball off. Dave Zastadil punt way up in the air. Great punt by Zastadil. No return. The fair catch by Darren Sproles at the 17-yard line. Well, you've heard about them. You've read about them. Now's your chance to see Jay and Dan from Fox Sports Live do highlights like only they can. Stay tuned right here on Fox to see Jay and Dan on the postgame show. Then tune in tonight at 11 p.m. to Fox Sports 1 to see Jay and Dan cover all the news from the world of sports on Fox Sports Live. To find Fox Sports 1 on your provider, go to FoxSports1.com now. Saints start from the 17. Through Breeze. 9 for 12, 117 yards, one touchdown. Two tight ends in. And the toss, Pierre Thomas. Bumped into his own man, that play never developed. Lawson two on the play, back to the 15. Darnell Dockett with the tackle. Tim Lolito, who's in for the all-pro guard, Jari Evans, during the break was getting a little work done himself. Looked like a calf or an ankle, they were trying to work out, massage out. They need him to stay healthy because of Jari and the hamstring injuries he's dealing with. Jari Evans is in uniform. He's walking along the sideline, but is not playing, and it's the it's broken the third longest Ready, active set. playing streak, starting streak at 114 games. Ready, so up? you know he's hurting. Freeze. Throws wide open man. Teddy Stills. And it's incomplete. Ball hit the ground. Denny Stills, fifth round draft pick out of Oklahoma with the effort on the pass. We also have a flag in the in the back end. Where it looks like, looks like, looks like it's going to be a holding call. Holding, number 71, Hoppy. That penalty is declined. Third down. That's Charles Brown, the left tackle. He was a right tackle last year. They shifted him over to the left side this season. Had a look at Kenny Stills. His dad, Ken Stills, was a safety for the Green Bay Packers in the 80s. Finished his career with the Minnesota Vikings. And his uncle, Gary Stills, was the beast of a special team player for the Kansas City Chiefs that I hated to play. Hard-headed, fast, too big, too strong. You, you kind of get mad at, at the good Lord for making players like Gary Stills. He you was, were a beast, too, on <laughs> special. Well, listen, this guy, he was cut out of a mold that, that I wasn't. <laughs> Here's third and 12 out of the shotgun. Breeze with time. 
Waiting for someone to come open. He overthrows Marcus Colston. Double covered on the play. Good defensive work by the Arizona Cardinals. Pressure again with just three men. This is where, you know, you just live to play another day. You see Marcus Colston there in the slot. Trying to get to the ball. This is your guy. Listen, you won the game for him last week. Late drive in the fourth quarter. Who's Drew Brees looking for? Jimmy Graham, Marcus Colston. Drew's trying to squeeze it in there again. Brees has been incomplete on his last four pass attempts. Started off hot. His offense has cooled down. There's the punt by Thomas Morstead. Patrick Peterson looks around. He's got room to return. Picks up a block, but goes down short of the 40-yard line. The ball came loose, and they'll scramble on, and it looks like the Cardinals have recovered it. That's the indication from the officials. Cardinals ball at the 38-yard line. Carson Palmer, 8 for 12 thus far in the game. Opening drive was an 80-yarder. And the Cardinals and Saints are tied. Today's game is sponsored by Chevrolet. Check out the all-new Chevy Silverado at the Silverado vs. All event. Back in New Orleans where the game tied 7-7. That's a good cheerleading group that the Saints have here. The Saints-Sations. Let's see if this Cardinals offense can get back on track. These offenses, both of them, Carson Palmer, Drew Brees, marched the field, their team's down to score. Been a little stagnant ever since. Patrick Peterson back in on offense. His third play on offense. He's a third wide receiver. As the Cardinals start from there, 39. The Shard Mendenhall in the backfield with Carson Palmer. And the handoff double reverse. Here comes Peterson. Fake the throw. Comes down the sideline and is out of bounds near midfield. Just short of the midfield line. It looks like he picked up 10, maybe 11, and a first down for the Cardinals. You see, they spotted at midfield. We give him 11 yards. Well, you see Patrick Peterson kind of start to tuck that ball like, like he wants to throw that thing like he did last week versus Detroit, and then you just see that sheer speed that he turns on to get around the edge. He has now completed a pass, caught a pass, and now won the football. Mr. Duet. Oh, man. How about that? Rashard Mendenhall with the carry down to the 47-yard line. Pick up of three on the play. What a week it was last week for Patrick Peterson. First time since the merger in 1970 of the AFL-NFL that one player caught a pass and completed a pass in the same game. He also returned punts. He also was a defender at <laughs> cornerback. The only thing he didn't do was kick last week. Uh, they said they're working on that in practice. That pass behind us intercepted. Now the ball hit the ground. Incomplete. Keenan Lewis almost picked it off. This is Carson Palmer being late. And the one thing that every offensive-minded head coach will tell you, you cannot be late on crossing passes over the middle of the field. Keenan Lewis almost had him a nice interception there. Rob Hausler, offense is about timing and rhythm. You'll hear me say it all day, folks at home. That rhythm has to be created. With the injury to Rob Hausler, his first week back, they need that to improve. Third and seven. Cardinals three for five. Thus far in the game on third down conversions. And they stop the play. Timeout, their second timeout of the first half. A lot of noise down on the field. That'll be a 30-second timeout. Well, we were talking about the versatility of Patrick Peterson and all he can do for more on Patrick. Let's go down to the field of Molly McGrath. Thanks, Sam. That's right. And because of Peterson's historic game, his game-worn gloves, and the football used in his pass completion, Kerry Taylor, are both being displayed in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Rosarian said that it's an honor to work with such a talented athlete, but he joked that Peterson should have completed the pass to the deep guy for the touchdown instead. Sam? Coaches have never...
never satisfied. Never happy, never happy. We were there. They did have it. If he would have struck down the field, that would have been seven points. Andre Ellington in the backfield. They fake the blitz. Palmer being pressured, and he threw the ball into the ground. Intentional grounding. Tyron Walker is just coming back from injury with the pressure on Carson Palmer. Well, there's pressure, Sam, as well as Bruce Arians going back, trying to repeat the little screen, the middle screen that they had success on earlier. We always call this a copycat league. Now they're going to argue over who's the penalty on and what's going on. We get a call here from Walt. downfield number 63 in the offense that penalty declined fourth down all right that's on lyle send line well and this is just the timing and rhythm of the screen game lyle your center is the key ingredient in the blocking scheme we see andre ellington try to sneak out through that middle screen again lyle just got downfield a little too early for that ball saints got good pressure from the men up front they showed blitz but they went with a four-man rush Cam Jordan, Junior Gillette, very active so far today. Morstead with an end over end punt. And it is grabbed by Darren Sproles. He hasn't had a chance to return. He's a dynamic return man. We've been talking about Patrick Peterson. Sproles could be a factor in this game. Back in New Orleans, you talk Saints football, it's all about Drew Brees in his eighth year, and he's turned this franchise, along with Sean Payton, into a winning franchise. It's been a thing of beauty to watch, to be a part of for two years. Just special. The way he spreads the ball around, you see all the different receivers he's hit here in the first quarter and a half of this game. But the thing is, Sam, that first drive, you had eight plays, 80 yards. The last two drives, 10 plays, 18. So we've seen the, the cooling off effect. Now it's up to number nine, the true leader of this ball club, to get them going, get them back in rhythm and on pace. And credit to the defenses for both teams. Yes. After they gave up long drives on their opening possessions. Saints start from the 19-yard line. Ready. 20. Breeze gets time outside, completes it to Robert Meacham. His second catch, and he's forced back from the 25-yard line. They'll give him forward progress close to the 26. That time they had your guy, the fullback, Jed Collins, in the lineup for a little protection for Drew. Well, I know Drew likes big number 45, Jed, Jed Collins in there. Great pass protector. Really a fullback that can do it all. But you see there, Drew spreading the ball again. Finds Robert Meacham in the flat very quickly. Big pickup, six, seven yards on first down. Second and four. Yellow 80, yellow 80. Easy. Here Thomas shifts back. Get two Titan, 5 0. Ready. You ready? What's that? Breeze swings it out to Pierre Thomas. Picks up one block that he's tripped up. A good effort on the tackle by the defensive back, Jeremiah Bell, the safety. He fought off the block and made a good tackle on the play. Sure did. This play could have been a lot bigger. Drew switches the protection at the line of scrimmage, allows Pierre Thomas to get out without having to check a blocking responsibility. Looked like they had a nice little play set up in Jeremiah Bell in space versus a very slippery. is an eligible receiver. 79, eligible. Third and one. Bryce Harris is in as an eligible re receiver. He's a tackle. Saints have not run the ball much in this game. Collins is in at fullback. They run it here and is short of the first down. Great job up front by the Cardinals to stop. Pierre Thomas, time for an update. Joel Klatt's got that in L.A. Joel. Sam, from one good defensive play to another, Clay Matthews leaping at Ben Jarvis Green. Ellis, he cops it up. M.D. Jennings, 24-yard fumble return for a touchdown. Pack cut it to 14-10. It's second and goal for the Pack inside the five as we speak. Thanks, Joel. Good start for the Bengals. Pack coming back on the road. Well, it's good to see that defense getting it going, too, for Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers can't do everything himself. Thomas Morstead. High punt. Long one. He aims for the sideline. Way out of bounds. Let's see where they spot this one as the official comes up the sideline. And actually works out pretty well for the Cardinals. They'll start from the 33-yard line. 
So no return, but the kick was angled out of bounds. After last week's stunning showdown between two of the house's top fighters, the tension between Team Rousey and Team Tate spills over into the locker room in what's being called the new best rivalry in sports. Don't miss an all-new episode of The Ultimate Fighter this Wednesday on Fox Sports 1. To find Fox Sports 1 on your provider, go to foxsports1.com now. There was a flag on the play, and they're talking things over, giving Bruce Arians a choice here. During the kick, illegal mark at the back on number 27 of the kicking team. That 10-yard penalty will be added on to the end of the play. First down. Turns out great for the Cardinals. Not only was the kick angled too sharply out of bounds, but now they get an extra 10 yards, and the Cardinals will start from the 43-yard line. Well, it's just stacking up situations that Sean Payton doesn't want to deal with. Thomas Morstead, hands down one of the best punters in this league, and then foolish penalties. Sean is always preaching, you're controlling your actions on the field, and just no room for those type of penalties. Third penalty of the game for the Saints. Cardinals come out with four wide receivers. Jerron Brown is in as a fourth wide receiver. Andre Ellington in the backfield. Palmer gets time. He puts it up deep. Going out there for Michael Floyd. He was covered by Keenan Lewis. Lewis comes up limping a little bit. This is Bruce Arians. They're going to take their shots. Outside guy, you're going to see the streak route. Keenan Lewis, this is that, I'll call it the veteran presence here at the end. All the defensive holding, defensive contact rules, it's almost unfair for our defenders. He knows when to start leaning into him. He knows when to just slightly push off with the elbow to get the bump and the contact that you can get away with. Sam, I can't tell you how tough it is to play defense in this league right now. Yeah, I hear you. Four straight incompletions for Carson Palmer. Second and ten for the Cardinals. Quick outside, he completes it to Larry Fitzgerald, but not much. Got a yard on the play, it'll bring up third and long. Larry Fitzgerald bothered by a hamstring that he suffered in practice in the middle of last week. They cut short his game against the Lions. He had to take himself out of the game, couldn't go. Well, and besides the hamstrings, we're seeing Bruce Arians put Larry Fitzgerald in so many spots that he's not used to. He is all over the field. He's not just the stagnant X receiver. There he's in the slot, a little college bubble screen. Andre Roberts out in front trying to block for him. So this guy's head is spinning while he's trying to get his body healthy as well. There's third and nine. They pick up the blitz. No, they don't. <laughs> they busted through. Initially, Palmer had time, but then it was Cameron Jordan busting through for the sack on Carson Palmer. Well, it, you see Carson. Where is he going to look? He's looking to Larry Fitzgerald. I think the more important thing on this play is Carson thinks he has time. Jabari Greer undercuts it, but protection again. Bruce Arians does not want to have to keep a running back in to help protect. They kept Rashard Mendenhall that time to help against Junior Gillette to help with Levi Brown. Strolls on the return of the punt by Zastadil. He breaks a couple of tackles. And Darren Strolls shows why he's one of the most dangerous return men in the game. I wish I could draw this up for you folks at home, but he's too quick, he's too fast. Bruce Arians said, this was the guy you have to take out of the game. Not just on offense as a receiver or running back, but special teams here. How many guys? Here comes your fourth guy. Finally, your kicker <laughs> and Brinkley, your starting linebacker, get him down after four or five missed tackles. I mean, you see the vision, his balance. Beautiful. Amazing. 28 amazing. 28 yard return for Darren Sproles. He stays on the field looking to give the Saints a spark as they start from the 42. Everybody out. Drew Brees hits Darren Sproles and he's brought down as he gets to midfield. Yarmaya Bell with a tackle. He goes to the sideline. We'd like to welcome the men and women in uniform serving around the world 
watching today's broadcast in 175 countries and aboard ships at sea on AFN, the American Forces Network. Thanks for all you do. We hope you're enjoying today's telecast, and we wish you Godspeed. Ready, my son. From midfield, Green steps up. Wide open, Jimmy Graham. And he's brought down at the 30-yard line by Tyron Matthew. 21-yard pickup on the play. Tyron Matthews in there actually is the starting safety now. Rashad Johnson, who's normally your starting safety, we saw him being escorted off the field, obviously headed back to the locker room to get checked out. We'll try to get you some more information on that as soon as we can. Ball at the 29-yard line. Three catches, 46 yards for Jimmy Graham. Thank you. Saints threatening in a 7-7 game. Ready for set. Breeze. Outside of the fullback, Jeff Collins makes the grab, goes out of bounds after a gain of five. Well, I told Drew he didn't get the ball to Jed at least once or twice today. I was going to speak <laughs> bad about him up here. So good to see Jed get a touch. This guy does all the grunt work. He is a physical blocker. Doesn't have the blazing speed, but this kid's a complete fullback. His first catch of the season. He has not run the ball yet this season. That'll be the next milestone. And he comes to the sideline after the five-yard pickup. Drew Brees, 14 for 19, 160 yards, one touchdown. Cardinals make some substitutions. Brees checking off at the line. Gets time. Throwing deep and overthrows Marcus Colson. Darnell Dockett with some late pressure on Drew Brees. And this is obviously Todd Bowles, the defensive coordinator for Arizona. You're going to see the kind of the, the trap that they want to put on him, Marcus Colston that being in the back end. You see the attention, Carlos Dansby getting underneath, so Drew Brees can't drop that ball in the way that he does. Coverage over top as well. Once again, exclusive passing yes. for the Saints, not running the ball at all balance whatsoever. They have rushed the ball only three times in the game. On third and five, with the empty backfield, everyone out. Breeze throws incomplete. Flag on the play. Tyron Matthew is all over Lance Moore. Well, here's your rookie out of LSU, and this guy's been... Pass interference, number 32, defense. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. First penalty for the Cardinals in the game. Well, the one word we hear out of Tyron Matthews, who's in coverage on Lance Moore, is, is instincts and his ball hawking abilities. But here, you just get there too early. You can't ride over the back. You can't cup with your left arm and reach over with your right. Easy call from the back angle. It's even more clear. It's a homecoming for Tyron Matthew. His family is here. They're up in a suite somewhere. Adopted parents, Ready. siblings. Ready for set. Breeze in trouble, puts it way up to front. He has an open man. He was trying to throw it away, and Jimmy Graham was three yards open in the end zone. Here's the beauty of Drew Brees. It's, it's a busted play. Arizona's defense does a great job of applying the pressure. Drew bails out of the bootleg. You're going to see initially he's kind of, this is a bootleg action back this way, and he's going to bail back around because of the pressure. Sam Acho, Darnell Dockett, and then he heaves it knowing where Jimmy Graham is, and this is much closer than you think it would yeah. be. Wow. Second and ten at the Cardinals 16 yard line. Sproles in the backfield with Breeze. Pressure coming. Breeze throws for Graham. He goes up and takes it away from Yeremiah Bell for a touchdown. We 
cannot, you cannot give Drew Brees this much time to diagnose a one-on-one -on -one coverage. Jimmy Graham in the red zone on Jeremiah Bell. Jeremiah, a former teammate of mine, this is not his fault. Todd Bowles needs to be questioned. Down here in the red zone, Jimmy Graham, Jeremiah gives up height, weight, stature, leaping ability. This is easy pickings for Drew Brees. That's just toss it up. That was a guaranteed seven points when that defense broke the huddle. He's too fast for a linebacker. He's too big and strong for a DB. How do you cover him? You don't. Todd Bowles said, don't let him in the stadium. <laughs> yeah, well, they let him in the stadium, all right. What a hookup between Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham. For more, let's go to Molly McGrath. Thanks, Sam. Jimmy Graham only played one season of college football before entering the NFL. And while it gives him the feeling that he has to prove himself, quarterback Drew Brees told me that it's an advantage because he's been able to take Graham's raw talent and mold him into what it takes to be a tight end in the NFL. Brees and Graham both said that this helped develop their chemistry so much that both players feel like they can read each other's minds on the football field. Sam? Oh, it's been a learning process for Jimmy Graham. Thanks, Molly. And Jimmy says every game, every time he goes out there, he's looking to prove people wrong, the people who said he couldn't do this. Yes, well, I mean, he was a part of that lockout season, so he got less tutoring in that part than the Drew Brees you know, kind of uh, contract dispute last year. Drew wasn't around all last off, last off season, so despite how great his development has been, it almost could be even better, which is scary, because he hasn't had a lot of the coaching time that you would expect for a player of his years. Drew Brees, 15 for 22, 176 yards, two touchdown passes. That was Jimmy Graham's third touchdown catch of the season. And the Saints have the lead for the first time in the game. The kickoff, returned by Javier Arenas from the five. Slips one man and another. Try to get outside. Good speed by Arenas. Great return, and he's out of bounds near midfield. Partner, this is funny. Thomas Morstead, I, I mentioned a minute ago, one of the best punters in the league, also probably has the strongest leg. You're going to see where this ball lands. This is a pur purposeful pop kick is what you call it. Obviously, Coach McMahon, the special teams coach for the New Orleans Saints, thought, hey, if we can get this pop kick in the corner, then maybe we can steal some yardage, get a, an easy tackle inside the 20. Well, it actually fought against him. Now the ball's on. Uh, the 49-yard line heading in for the Arizona Cardinals. Best return of the season for Javier Arenas. And the Cardinals on the 46-yard return. Start from the Saints, 49-yard line. They start the ball in the backfield, three wide receivers in. Palmer. Game pressure, goes outside, completes to Andre Roberts, gets away from one man, Malcolm Jenkins, and then is pulled out of bounds by Curtis Lofton. Great open field movement by Andre Roberts. Gets that ball quick from Carson. Is able to make Malcolm mix, but then you got big Curtis Lofton coming. <laughs> Get away from the big middle linebacker. Palmer 10 for 17. And we're coming down to the two minute warning. How do you handle this? Drew Brees on the opposite side of the ball. You know, you obviously want to bleed as much clock. You want to get points. We'll see what they decide. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Use the clock as well. That is Cardinals have warning. only one timeout remaining. Two-minute warning. You need all the inspiration you can get. And Elvis is trying to stir up the defense for the Saints. Cardinals have punted four times. Last four times after an opening drive touchdown. Blitz has picked up Palmer's pass incomplete. Trying to get it to Andre Roberts. Well covered by Malcolm Jenkins on the play. This is good defense by Rob Ryan. You know, Carson talked about the pressure is one thing. Akeem Nix and the boys, but then you're dealing with Rob Ryan and all his schemes and the exotic things that he wants to run in the back end. And you see Carson there just get a little rush. Couldn't quite wait for Andre Roberts to break out of there when he actually had a window to throw it in. Cardinals third and five. Empty backfield. Everybody out. Palmer throwing, and it's off the hands, incomplete. Try to get it to the back. Andre Ellington. So after good field position, 
Well, the Cardinals, they haven't been able to take advantage of it. Last three times, they've had good field position. Average starting yard marker was 43-yard line. Well, playing on the short field, Bruce knows. Bruce Arians, that is, the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. You've got to take advantage of it. They've done anything but. Dave Zastavill has dropped three punts inside the 20 in this game. This one bounces at the five and will be down at the four-yard line. Zastadil doing a good job. Let's find out what's happening at halftime. For that, back to the Fox Network Center to Kurt Menefee. Coming up on the Visa Halftime, those guys will fill those seats as we talk about a busy week three already, including Ed Reed going back to Baltimore, AP trying to lead the Vikings in their first win of the season, and Rivers already flowing for San Diego. It's on the Visa Halftime. Lots of good stuff coming up on the Visa Halftime Report. Stay tuned for that. Sean Payton checks his playlist as his team starts at the four-yard line. What do you think here? Well, I, I say Arizona potentially knowing Drew Brees a minute, 43 seconds, three timeouts. This defense needs to step up and hold the fort. Spread the offense. Out of the end zone, Brees throws and completes to Marcus Colston up to the nine-yard line. Picks up five on the play. Carlos Dansby on the tackle. First, team timeout. Six 30 second timeout. Saints use their first timeout of the half. This is where Sean, Sean Payton and Drew Brees, this combination of these two together, it's, it's not even fair. They, they think alike, they feel alike. The, the play combination, the understanding of what the plays they want to run and how and who they want to attack. I mean, it becomes a thing of beauty, partner. Well, the Saints have been all passed. What are your thoughts about how that will play out in this game? Well, two things. I mean, Sean stated from week one that they want to be balanced. I think it's more the game plan this week of this Arizona. Their front defense, big, physical, athletic players. Maybe the matchups they don't like. Let's space them out, spread them out, wear them out, and then maybe attack them in the run later in the game. All right, second down and five for the Saints. Make it second and four. Up close to the 10-yard line. Swing it out for Darren Sproles, but he throws it over his head. We've got an update for that. Let's go back to L.A. This time to Joel Platt. Joel. All right, thank you, Sam. And to New England we go, where Tom Brady for the 51st straight game, touchdown pass. His second of the day, Kimbrell Tompkins' second of the day. Patriots go up 14-3. Back to you, Sam. Thanks, Joel. Patriots with the lead. Coming up to halftime, Kimbrell Tompkins, another rookie having to step up for Tom Brady, another undrafted rookie free agent playing big time. And the Bucks, 0-2 in a tough spot. And only put three points on the board. Everybody out, Breeze, throwing, Jimmy Graham. Couldn't hold on. Tough ball for Jimmy to catch. We forget this guy's 6-6. Drew kind of puts it low and away. A lot of time, he'll slide in and make that grab. Jimmy tried to kind of bend the back and make a snatch. So now, Cardinals do a good job. Three it out yes. for the Saints. And again, that's part of this no-run offense that we've seen for the Saints in this first half. So Cardinals have time. Yes, one time out. Now the tides are turned. We'll have to see what Rob Ryan and Cam Jordan and Keem Hicks can do on the defensive side of the ball. Long, high punt by Morstead. Here comes Peterson. Cuts it upfield. Gets up to the 40-yard line. Good field position for the Cardinals. The NFL and all 32 teams are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Visit NFL.com splash or slash Hispanic Heritage to hear the personal stories of Hispanic players in the NFL. Carson Palmer, 10 for 19, 95 yards. Cardinals had an 11-play, 80-yard drive to start the game. And since then, they have punted five consecutive times. Now from the 40, with one timeout, a minute 19. Palmer being pressured, and they got him. Cameron Jordan. Out of Chandler, Arizona, and Chandler High School takes down the Arizona Cardinals quarterback. Well, it's both tackles. You're going to see Levi Brown as well as Eric Winston. Both guys, they are getting the edge. Cam Jordan, Junior Gallette. You see Cam Jordan with just sheer power over Eric Winston. Junior Gallette. 112 on the clock. 
please. Junior Gallette is just truly frustrating Levi Brown today. Here's the, call them the pressure stats. I mean, three sacks, five hits, ten hurries. This is not winning football by the offensive line by the Arizona Cardinals. Ball back at the 35-yard line. Second and 15. Alfonso Smith in the backfield with Carson Palmer. He gets time. There's a flag on the play. The pass dropped by Andre Roberts. Good coverage on the play by Malcolm Jenkins. Let's check out the flag. Malcolm Jenkins is, was a corner out of Ohio State. Offside, number 27, defense, lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, still singing down. Hold it on and, Malcolm and, Jenkins. And as I was getting ready to, to praise him, and rightfully so, for the, for the great coverage, you see Malcolm come up late right here. He ends up being in the neutral zone at the snap of the ball, ends up having great coverage, but that penalty continues to keep this drive alive. Second and ten. So the Cardinals wind up with a free play. Spread the offense. Everybody out. Palmer pressured, throws, completes it to Andre Ellington. The back out of the backfield up to the 48-yard line. Bring up a third and two. Under third and final team timeout. New Orleans, 30-second timeout. New Orleans uses the timeout. <laughs> okay. Well. This is Sean Payton aggressiveness. We saw last week when they take three points off the board down the goal line, trying to get seven points instead of three. Aggressive, there needs to be a better adjective for Sean Payton. Coming up at the conclusion of the half, it's the Visa Halftime Report. Kurt, Terry, Howie, Michael, and Jimmy in the studio. We'll check it all out. Big game in Baltimore, Houston at Baltimore. The Ravens leading at halftime. They'll check out the highlights of that one. Vikings looking for their first win. They've got it all covered on the Visa Halftime Report coming up. We start to see that rotation that Rob Ryan wanted to create in that defensive front. Glenn Foster, undrafted looking for agent. Tyrone Walker in there in the inside defensive tackle positions. They're showing blitz. They drop back in coverage. The pass complete to Andre Ellington was becoming a very reliable man out of the backfield. He can catch the ball. Ellington, the rookie out of Clemson, sixth round draft pick, has done an excellent job thus far early in the season. Pick up of 11 and a first down for the Cardinals. Well, and Andre's last two catches have been in the slot and then lined up outside in a wide receiver position. The flexibility, the, the multi-dimensional aspects of a young player's game, very impressive, very impressive. Cardinals need about nine yards to get into position for Jay Feely. Three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Pressure on Pomery, throws and stroke up. Curtis Lofton with a good play. Reaching in on the pass intended for Jerron Brown, a rookie out of Clemson. Great job by the defense here, just being aware of the sticks. And by sticks, I mean the, the first down marker. You know, Curtis Lofton, in Atlanta for a long time, a very dominant middle linebacker. Bring him over here two years ago. You see the timing and the rhythm. Might have got there a little early. Good play by defense. Carson Palmer might have found a different receiver. On second and ten. Palmer in trouble. He throws it away as he gets hit by Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan. Third-year man out of California, first-round draft pick in 2011. Man, has he been in Palmer's face throughout the day. Carson has nowhere to go. I mean, Junior Gallet is the one that's initially going to kind of make Carson get out of the pocket. And you're going to see Cam Jordan, number 94. Again, it's this power bull movement that he keeps getting um, Eric Winston with. And they've got no answer right now for the defensive ends of the New Orleans Saints. He knows the family's watching back in Chandler, Arizona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here's third and ten, empty backfield. Pressure again, Palmer throws over, a little too high for Andre Roberts. Covered by Kenny Vaccaro on the play. So the Saints tighten up after the first down by the Cardinals. Saints do a good job, and here comes Dave Zastadil out for his sixth punt. 
in six consecutive possessions after the first possession went 80 yards for the touchdown. Well, this is not what Bruce Arians, Carson Palmer, that they wanted to create the rhythm that they needed. And uh, Carson needed to stick that last one. Andre Roberts had a nice crossing route coming across, plenty of yards for the first down, and just didn't shoot it in there. And let's be honest, that might be some of the effects of the pressure that's getting to Carson Palmer. Cardinals cover the good punt by Zastadil, who's put them all inside the 20. This one is spotted at the 13-yard line. Saints do not have any timeouts, 31 seconds remaining. Drew Brees with a solid first half, 16 for 25, 182 yards. Probably the only negative, a couple of sacks in the first quarter. Yes, and they've shored that up since then. They've kind of spread this defense out. I think they wanted to see Drew let them kind of let the defense kind of tell their hand, and then Drew can manipulate the protection at the line of scrimmage. And here we go. Kneel it out, take it in at halftime. Touchdown passes for Drew Brees to Robert Meacham yes. and to Jimmy Graham. The Arizona Cardinals took the lead. First possession of the game went 80 yards in 11 plays. Good balance. And since then, the Saints defense has had good answers. Saints have come back and taken the lead. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, the first drive for Arizona was spectacular. Six runs, five passes. Carson Palmer was spot on. That is the end of the first half. Since then, it's been nothing but. It's just been disastrous. You can't run the ball, incompletions, poor pass protection. And this is the kind of ingenious side of Bruce Arians. You got Andre Ellington, a, a smaller tailback at fullback, and then Sean Payton comes right back, Drew Brees to, to meet him, and then Jimmy Graham. This is just stealing. You, you cannot put a safety that gives up the size and the weight and the stature difference of Jimmy Graham in the red zone. You know where Drew Brees is going to go every time, and you're going to see that same spike by Jimmy Graham over the goalpost every single time. Love, love Jimmy's one-hand jam. Uh, He's got those basketball moves. It makes it look too easy. Good pressure from the Saints defensively on Carson Palmer. He'll win up here of 2014 Saints season ticket. Take a look at some numbers in the first half. There's a, an interesting, you look at the top of the right column, right? and New Orleans Saints, minus five rushing, they have gone away from the running game altogether. It's been virtually all passing. Well, it's negative runs, and we constantly saw the Arizona defensive front reset the line of scrimmage of the New Orleans offensive line, and they can't have that. It's the... Brett Ingles, the offensive line coach for New Orleans, I know is not happy right now, but what they've adjusted to is Sean Payton. Let's spread the defense out four and five wides and let Drew go to work. Now, I know some of those passes are short passes, and they're almost like runs, but you've only run the ball four times in the first half. Can they keep that up for an, an entire game? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Can or can't, I'm not quite sure. I know Sean Payton doesn't want to. What makes Drew Brees, Drew Brees, is the run game because it sets up the screen game, and then all the shots of play action, the deep one play action, fake it, and then Drew shoots the ball down the field. All right, we're at halftime with the New Orleans Saints leading the Arizona Cardinals 14-7. to Jimmy Graham with his basketball celebration. That time was a two-hand slam. Follow your favorite team all season long. Go to iTunes.com slash NFL. Sam Rosen, Heath Evans, Molly McGrath. Glad you're with us. The Saints will receive the kickoff to start the second half. Jay Feely teeing it up. And Darren Sproles had a good return earlier in the game. Set to return. Here's Sproles, five yards deep, 
And he takes a knee, surprisingly. I thought he'd bring it back. Let's go to the sideline to Molly McGrath, see what news she has. Molly. Thanks, Sam. The Cardinals are playing with a depleted defense in this second half as linebacker Lorenzo Alexander is questionable with a foot injury and also Rashad Johnson is questionable with a finger injury. Bruce Arian said that they'll keep playing with that next man up mentality. They'll be bringing in some of their younger players, but he said that they need to settle down a little bit in this game. He said they're getting this, they're letting the crowd noise get to them a little bit too much. Mm, that's interesting. Thanks, Molly. From the 20, Breeze puts it up. And fires completes to Jimmy Graham. First down up at the 32-yard line. And once again, Breeze comes out throwing his 26th pass of the game. He's 7 feet 17 for 26 for 194. Well, partner, the only thing I can figure out is Sean came out screaming the mantra of 2009 that we're going to be a balanced football team. We're going to be a physical run team. We ran the ball as well as anybody back in 2009. I just think it must be the game plan that they don't think they can run the ball in this defense in front of Arizona. Space them out, yeah. get them thin, and let Drew go to work. Short drop. That pass almost intercepted by Carlos Dansby off his hands and dropping incomplete. Talking about the young players for Arizona, number 66, Alameda Ta'amu, making his NFL debut at nose tackle for the Cardinals in the absence of Dan Williams. Well, and Alameda's been stout a few times, obviously very few, that New Orleans has tried to run the ball, third and short scenario earlier in the game. This guy has stood the test. He's big, big body, 348 pounds. That's just a big, big man to move. The Steelers draft pick last year, spent time on the practice squad, picked up on waivers. Sproles, good run, as he gets up across the 45-yard line. John Abraham chased him down. 15-yard run for Darren Sproles. Best run of the game for the Saints. Talk about details. Watch big Zach Streep get out here on the corner. This is a man that's 6'8", another 340-pounder. You see Gerard Powers. It's tough for that big man to get down there and watch. I mean, look at this monster just running. Sproles sets up the block, and then it's just Darren Sproles going to work. Longest run of the season. The early season for the Saints, 15 yards. First down at the 47-yard line. Off the play fake. Breeze wanted to go deep, goes outside instead to Colston. First down at the Cardinals' 40-yard line. Here's an update coming your way. Joel Clive at the Fox Network Center. Joel. Sam Moore from Green Bay. Rookie out of UCLA, Jonathan Franklin. His first career touchdown. And the former Bruin makes it 23-14 Packers. That's 23 unanswered points for the Pack. Sam, back to you. Yeah, the Pack starting to make a statement. Jonathan Franklin, fifth round draft pick, I believe, out of UCLA. Very complete back. Jim Moore loved him at UCLA. Drew Brees has now passed for at least 200 yards in 35 consecutive games as he goes over. 200 with that last pass to Colson. That pass to Jimmy Graham is down to the 35-yard line. Tyron Matthew on the coverage. The rookie from LSU that we've talked about who has made a statement in the first two games of the season with some big plays last week with a great tackle on a fourth down play Think that stopped the Lions. We talk about instincts when it comes to Tyron Matthews. And even now when you just see the unfairness of having a Jimmy Graham. Mm. Tyron was right there. Perfect coverage, perfect timing. Ball arrives. He's there making the hit. Jimmy at 6'6", 2'7", just uses that big body to shield the pressure. Late changes for the Cardinals on defense. Breeze being rushed, steps up, nobody open, and he is tripped up, but falls forward to the 30-yard line. Here's the beauty of, of Drew Brees. I always say the, the great quarterbacks in our business, Sam, it's the sixth sense. It's what they feel. His eyes are over here to this side, and he's looking down the field. He's feeling the pressure at the same time. Nothing. He doesn't force it. He slides up in the pocket, avoids the pressure, and gets a positive game. Third and less than a yard, and Darren Sproles picks up the first down. Go back down to the, the, the second down here. Drew Brees, his eyes, you watch him. He's trying to set up safeties here. Let me move. Let me manipulate what the defense can do. You see that chin go up in the air, looking down the field, doesn't like what he's given. He takes off, scrambles for a few yards, makes it a manageable third and one for Darren Sproles to pick up. Eighth play of this drive for the Saints. 
Now the Saints starting to run the ball a little bit with Darren Sproles picking up positive yardage. Off the fake. In trouble was Breeze. He got away and couldn't find anyone open. John Abraham. Now Drew Breeze knows John Abraham who was with the Atlanta Falcons and they went at each other for several years. These are the, the things where you'll see John Abraham. He's coming off. Drew's going to boot out and he's going to be right there waiting on him. But all the, the things about Drew that you just can't quantify, second round draft pick, people say you're six foot, you don't have the strongest arm, you see the slippery nature, nature of him, you see the, the slight little pump fake that gets John to settle his feet just to give Drew enough edge to use that athleticism, hit the edge, get the corner, avoid a negative play. Sproles carries but went right into Darnell Dockett. And it looks like no gain on that play, so back to back no gainers for the Saints. Brings up third and ten. Carlos Dansby and Darnell Dockett in on the stop. Darnell Dockett had a sack in the first half. Arizona Cardinals will head east after this game. Will not go home. They will practice in Florida for next week's game at Tampa Bay. Third and ten. Breeze with time going deep. And it's intercepted by Tyron Matthew. His first NFL interception. And back at home in New Orleans. What a ball skill play by the by the youngster. I mean, you see Drew. This is one Drew's going to want to come back. I mean, Drew just needs to hold on to this play here. I mean, you see the ball high in the air. Lance Moore gets kind of picked off. Tyron Matthews. Why was the risk there in the third round? Ball skills just like that. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. By Chrysler, imported from Detroit. By DirecTV. If you call yourself a sports fan, you've got to get DirecTV. And by Miller Lite. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Back at the Superdome in New Orleans. The hometown hero who is playing in Arizona returns and Tyron Matthew with the interception the first of his NFL career and the Cardinals have the ball at their 20-yard line the Sark Mendenhall battles his way straight ahead for four yards well here's Tyron Matthews again you're gonna see Drew just force this this is where you want to get this is predetermined throw by Drew Brees he's trying to force the ball so Lance Moore there in the slot. You can see Marcus Colston's your throw, but Drew just predetermines this throw. Tyron Matthews, beautiful ball skills. This kid just such an exceptional athlete. You can talk all you want about height, weight, speed. It just doesn't matter when you can play football like that. And he performed for his family. Yes. We're happy to see that. Ends around to Ellington. Picks up a couple of blocks. And Andre Ellington up close to the 40-yard line. First down for the Cardinals at the 39. Gain of 14 on the play. When we talk about the beauty of the two, you know, head coaches slash offensive coordinators in this game, Bruce Arians and Sean Payton, they've been setting up that reverse all game long, taking Andre Ellington in the backfield, having him block. Andre Ellington in the backfield and releasing on a pass route. Now they set up that kind of end around motion with one of their backs out in space. At the 39, Ellington motions toward the line. Pressure on Palmer. The pass off the hands of Andre Ellington. That one should have been caught. Kenny Vaccaro was covering, and Curtis Lofton got a hit on Ellington after he dropped the ball. Had to let the, the youngster know you're going to get hit whether you catch it or not. So, Andre, just bring that in for Carson Palmer. But that same short motion, getting Andre back in tight formation, trying to man him up on some of these safeties and linebackers, create that mismatch for Carson to be able to get him the ball. Larry Fitzgerald has been in the entire game, but it's been a quiet game for him thus far. He's caught three passes, but it's been a quiet game for Larry. Straight ahead, Rashard Mendenhall. Curtis Lofton got a piece of him and helped take him down. A gain of two up for the 41-yard line. Bring up a third down play, third and eight 
coming for the Cardinals. Well, and this is what Curtis Lawton was brought here to do. I mean, you'll see instincts, the way he kind of just steps up and hits the gap. He sees the play diagnosed. There is no hesitation. As soon as he knows what's coming, he's taken off. Reed, Reed, bam, he's gone. He beats Eric Winston, who should come off and pick him off. Great instincts, great tackle on Rashard Mendenhall. Three wide receivers for the Cardinals. They split off the tight end, Rob Hausler. Pressure from the outside. Palmer in trouble. They got him. Leading the way was Glenn Foster, the rookie out of Illinois. Fourth sack of the game for the Saints. Well, it's the same story that we saw in the first half. You are going to see the pressure. Cam Jordan, Junior Gallette, Akeem Hicks in the middle. You see Cam Jordan getting the edge there. They wrap him up there at the end. Tyron Walker finish him off, number 75. And this defensive front, Rob Ryans came to play today. Dave Sastadil with a long, high punt. Aaron Sproul lets it bounce inside the 10. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. Justin Bethel tried to get there for Arizona. Couldn't do it. Saints start from the 20. Drew Brees has his team in the lead at 14 to 7. Their second possession of this third quarter. The last drive ending with the interception in the end zone by Tyron Matthew. Spreads the offense. He's checking off. Everybody out. Pressure from the outside. Breeze got away, he slipped it, and completes the pass up to the 39-yard line. Marcus Colston with the catch along the sideline again of 19. What a play Breeze made to get away from the rush. You know, you're going to see pressure really come from everywhere. Drew does his typical thing, and then a hop step, and then this shot down the field to Marcus Colston. He's just one of a kind. I mean, <laughs> it's just not fair. The instinctual efforts of Drew Breeze, the way he feels and sees things. John Abraham came on an absolutely free rush. Drew slides up instantaneously makes a very good pass rusher miss in space. Cardinals got what they wanted, the good pressure, and Breeze got away on first down. In trouble, and this time he doesn't get away. Darnell Dockett with his second sack of the game, the Cardinals third. This is just Drew Brees, Sean Payton trying to take a shot. You see Drew standing in there. They had protection on here. You see the bodies aligned in here. Drew should have had time. You'll see Pierre. He's coming up here to help out with Ben Watson. Just nowhere to throw the ball. Darnell Dockett, great job. Penetration, reading his eyes. Drew Brees coming off at the last second, bringing him to the ground. See the pressure that the Cardinals have put on the game. Second and 14 for the Saints at their 35-yard line. Pressure from the outside. The screen pass to Pierre Thomas. Look one man, turns it into a big gainer. He's got a first down across midfield to the Cardinals' 49-yard line. 16-yard pickup on the play. Jasper Brinkley had a shot at him. Yeah, this is Pierre Thomas. He's actually going to slip over here and run the screen. This cross-action screen, you get the offensive line, you see Brian De La Puente, the center, get out there, throw a block, and then the rest is just Pierre Thomas. The word is always slippery that comes to mind with Pierre. I saw him slip so many defenders in my two years with him. And he's healthy. He's a spectacular back. First down at the Cardinals, 49. Short drop, pump fake. Breeze puts it up for Graham. He's got him. Oh, what a perfect connection. Graham out of bounds at the 20-yard line, a 29-yard 29 29 pickup. I just feel bad. I mean, this is one-on-one -on -one with Jimmy Graham. I'm not quite sure what, Ty, what, what Todd Bowles is thinking. You see Jeremiah Bell coming to the screen late there, but this is Jimmy Graham, an all-pro tight end. You just can't man up. We saw the touchdown earlier against Jeremiah Bell. You've got to have help. Seven catches, 108 yards for Jimmy Graham, who had 10 for 179 last week. He's a monster. Spinning is Pierre Thomas out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Pickup of two on the play. Once again, the Saints threatening Drew Brees. 
22 of 34, 276 yards as he closes in on his eighth consecutive game of 300 yards or more passing. When he's chasing his own record of That's nine right. consecutive games <laughs> over 300 yards. Two men in the backfield, Jed Collins and Pierre Thomas. Protection for Brady, swings it out to Thomas. Try to fight off Carlos Dansby. Dansby shoved him out of bounds. But Thomas gets down to the 13-yard line. A gain of five on the play. Here Thomas, a versatile back, undrafted free agent out of the University of Illinois. You talked about him. Yes. He proved his versatility to this team. Well, you listen to Greg McMahon, the special teams coach here in New Orleans, who had Pierre in Illinois. The level of, I think, professionalism that goes with Pierre, the study habits, the, the work ethic, and then how he can affect the game is just special. Breeze pass intended for Colston was a little wide of him. He was covered by Jeremiah Bell, the safety. And again, red zone. You look at the score here, 14-7. This is a point of emphasis to Sean. All the red zone trips, only one touchdown coming into today's game. You know, six different field goals. These are missed opportunities that Sean Payton, he's just not happy. Yeah, well, he got the one in the first half, the right. pass to Meacham. This time they don't get the touchdown. And Garrett Hartley is in for a 31-yard field goal try. He's six for seven this season, now seven for eight. The Saints have widened their lead. They have scored 17 unanswered points. New Orleans ahead of Arizona, 17 to seven. Saints have had two good drives here in the third quarter, but have only produced three points. Eight plays, 67 yard drive, and Hartley winds up with a 31 yard field goal. Definitely not up to the par of the standard that Sean Payton and Drew Brees have set, especially in this dome. They want touchdowns, not field goals. Javier Arenas is deep. He's had a good return in this game. Morstead's kick. And Arenas takes a knee six yards deep. Arenas takes a knee. Now the Cardinals down by 10. Carson Palmer leads them out. One of the keys to this game, disrupt the quarterback. And the Saints have done a pretty good job against Carson Palmer. I would call it a great job. I don't care if you're playing Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning. If you're pressuring like this, taking hits from Cameron Jordan, Akeem Hicks, the pressure gets to you. We've seen some inherent throws down the stretch from Carson. Listen, this offensive line of Bruce Arians, they have got to find a way to get this shirt up if they're going to have a chance to win this ball game today. Two sacks for Cameron Jordan. One for Junior Gallette and one for Glenn Foster. Now, Junior Gallette has had his hand in probably every pressure there is. The activity he's shown against Levi Brown. Levi Brown's got to have a much better fourth quarter in this end of the third. Three wide receivers in. Hausler shifts into the backfield. Mendenhall carries and gets about three on the play. Never be without football. Get coverage of every NFL game on NFL Mobile. Call Star Star NFL to download it now. That's a good app. Sure is. We both got it. Don't miss anything. Cardinals down by 10. Looking to get something going here. Patrick Peterson is in the game and he's split out wide to the right. Now he motions. They fake it. They swing it out to Peterson. Saints are there. Peterson brought down. The former LSU star. Returning to the area in which he played his college football. A loss of two on that play. And ball back to the 22-yard line. A third and eight for Arizona. And, and this Peterson is, stays on the field. Yes, and this is the down and distance that, honestly, Drew Brees and that offense, as well as Carson Palmer, third down, this longer distance. Have not been good, either team. Cardinals started the game three for four. Now four of 11. Down. Empty backfield. Everybody out. Flag on the play. Pass complete to Larry Fitzgerald. He's got a first down at the 32. It might have been, let's see, an illegal shift, I thought. Illegal shift on the offense. Two men moving and not resetting. Five-yard penalty, still third down. 
So the third down conversion is wiped out. With too many men moving. Yeah, you see Larry preaching at the young wide receivers. He had Andre Ellington out there. I believe it was Andre Roberts as well. Those are details. Bruce Arians, they were the marching orders all week long. They felt, felt like that team got sloppy, definitely week one, even last week in a big week two victory. Too many details. Ball back to the 17. They have to get to the 30 for a first down. Pressure coming. Carson Palmer throws incomplete. Trying to get it to Larry Fitzgerald. Malcolm Jenkins with good coverage on the play. This is a great play by Malcolm Jenkins. Understanding where his safety help is. Obviously, Malcolm is a safety matched up one-on-one, -on -one, it seems, with Larry Fitzgerald. He makes he lets Larry kind of take that inside release. He gets on his hip, understanding that he's got safety help over the top. Just a very, very smart play by Malcolm Jenkins. Eighth straight possession in which the Cardinals have been forced to punt. And that punt by Zastadil taken by Sproles. Makes a good move to the outside. Sproles picks up a block, gets down to the 40-yard line. Outstanding return by Darren Sproles. 43-yard punt, 20-yard return. Oh, great and job. the Saints are set up in good field position. Drew Brees has got to love this one. He's got a 10-point lead on the ball in Cardinals territory. Saints have the ball on the Cardinals 39. It's been kind of a mixed bag last five times they've had the ball. Last two times, good drives, 18 plays, but only three points. Right, that mixed bag is kind of what it's been early to start this season. Those are the things they're trying to clean up. Empty backfield, they spread the offense. Breeze puts it up, completes to Darren Sproles. When we talked to Bruce Arians yesterday, he said the most dynamic player on the field as far as he's concerned for the Saints, Darren Sproles. Yes, and that is before Drew Brees is what came out of his mouth. And so you saw the spread five wide. Again, the thought process of Sean Payton must be let's spread this big physical defense thin and see if they can hang with our athletes. Payton has, done a, has been calling the pass plays throughout this first this, this game. 37 passes thrown by Drew Brees. Ready, ready, Sproles in the backfield with him. Brees in trouble. And he backhands it ahead to Lance Moore. And Moore caught it at the 30-yard line. You talk about improvisation, there it was. Can you say Brett Favre 2.0? The pressure's coming from this left side over here. You see, I think it's Darnell Dockett that's sliding through there. Quarterback threw it in the grass. Third down. Oh, they ruled him in the grass. Wow. Well, we'll get to see from this angle right here if he was in the grass. That is a bad call by Walt Coleman and his crew. You can clearly see the knees were up. Unless there was a whistle that we couldn't hear from up here, Sam, that's a bad call that, depending on the spot, we'll see what Sean Payton wants to do. So that is officially a sack, and it sets the fourth sack of the game for the Cardinals. Third sack for Darnell Dockett, and the Saints are back to the 36-yard line with a third and seven. Sean Payton still talking to the official about it on the sideline. Here's Breeze, and they stop the play. Yeah. Sean Payton calling Walt Coleman over. And apparently, he threw the challenge flag before that play started. And Walt is pro I believe, is telling him we can't challenge. I, I believe that is the rule. We have so many rules in our rule book now of what's a challengeable offense and what's not. We're going to hear from Walt. That play is not reviewable. Third down. And that's the explanation from Walt Coleman. Well, and that is the judgment call again by the officials yeah. of when the play is blown dead. Um, I wasn't 
fortunate enough to get that in the grass uh, play call of Eli Manning, Super Bowl 42 versus oh. your Giants when we had him sacked 15 <laughs> times in one game. We couldn't get that whistle that night, though. <laughs> but did, that, did my bitterness it's, just come out on air? I, I think it slipped out. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's only because you missed the Super Bowl because of injury when you were here in New Orleans. <laughs> gotcha. There's third down. Breeze getting time throwing and completes the Darren Sproul who hangs on after a big hit. First down Saints. This is Darren Sproles at his best. You look at the contact. I mean, here's Sproles. He's right here. He's going to get up here and get across. And this is just Drew being Drew. You watch the contact. Ball there. Big hit by Jeremiah Bell. And what does the guy do? He finishes the play. Drew lights it up, steps into the throw. It's a thing of beauty. Darren's, Absolute thing of beauty. Darren Sproles, four catches, 40 yards. Here's Pierre Thomas turning the corner. And he's upended inside the 15, and now the Saints are rolling. Tyron Matthew with the tackle on Pierre Thomas. But the Saints are rolling. They control the football in the third quarter. They only put up three points, but they're threatening to get more. That is the end of the third quarter. Sam Rosen, Heath Evans, Molly McGrath in New Orleans where the Saints are on the move. They are marching and they lead it 17 to 7. Have the ball at the Cardinals 13 yard line with a first and 10. Well, and surprise, surprise, this is where Sean Payton and Drew Brees and this offense has struggled. Coming in today in the red zone, seven drives, only one touchdown. Today, they're one of two. They need seven points here to go ahead and try to put this Arizona team away. Drew Brees is over 300 yards passing for the eighth consecutive game going back to last season. Turns, looks, trying to find somebody chased by John Abraham. That pass off the hands of Jimmy Graham at the five yard line. This is still very close to a completion for Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham. You're going to see the coverage. There's not a lot of place for Drew to go. You're going to see Jimmy get out of that bunch formation there. John Abraham gives him a little nudge. John Abraham is the one that's in pursuit of Drew Brees and Jeremiah Bell in coverage there. Jimmy, ah, extend those hands a little bit more. You see the feet are safe. A little bit more effort, get those arms extended to catch that ball for Drew Brees. Second and ten, Sproles in the backfield with Brees. And Jeremiah Bell, well, and we have the flag now. John Abraham jumped across. And the flags went flying as soon as the Saints pointed at him. Everybody pointed at John Abraham. Yes, sir. The interesting was, interesting thing was, you see Jimmy Graham coming out in motion. Here's the scary thing about that. Here's Jimmy Graham. He's motioning out here. Guess what? Todd Bowles was sending Jeremiah Bell the safety and man-to-man -man coverage again with no help over the top. Let's see if Sean Payton tries the same shift to see if they can get the same coverage. Jimmy Graham on Jeremiah Bell, and your answer is yes right here. Jeremiah Bell, 37, matched up on Jimmy Graham out here. Have a look at the defensive coordinator of the Cardinals, Todd Bowles, on second and five. Breeze to Graham, touchdown! The Cardinals thought that he had fumbled the football, but he had broken the plane. You see the crowd here erupt and here it erupt, but again, you cannot put this on Jeremiah Bell. This matchup right here is not fair. The you pass is ruled incomplete. Okay. He did not complete the process of the catch. You must maintain possession of the football, and that did not happen. But again, I'm not a defensive coordinator, but I know what Jimmy Graham brings to the table. Todd Bowles, three different times now in scoring position, has manned up Jimmy Graham. The side judge signaled touchdown. The officials came together and overruled the initial call. So here is third down, and the Cardinals call timeout. First, first team timeout, Arizona. Todd Bowles wants to out. talk things over. It's third and five for the Saints. Well, we've seen 
the Saints with a great hookup connection of Breeze and Graham, that looks like the guy to go to in the red zone, would you think? Well, I know Drew, he's thinking that Jimmy Graham is never covered. Even when he's doubled, he's still trying to stick the ball in those windows. Man-to-man -man coverage by Todd Bowles, Tyron Matthews, Jeremiah Bell. This isn't wise defense on their part. Now, when you have Sproles as another weapon, how do you cover both of those guys? Well, you really pick your poison. Then you add Marcus Colston, the red zone threat that he is. I mean, the touchdowns thrown between Drew Brees and Marcus Colston, those numbers are spectacular as well. That's the quandary that Sean Payton and Drew Brees put you in, down in and down out. On third and five, Sproles in the backfield with Brees. Everybody out. Brees looking, Sproles still down. Brees heads for the goal line. He's in. Touchdown. When all else fails, take it in yourself. <laughs> the former great tennis player, Drew Brees, let him take it in. Well, this is Todd Bowles' adjustment. If you're going to man up on Jimmy Graham, why don't you put maybe the one guy, Patrick Peterson, that's actually probably physical enough and it can jump with him in the coverage. If you don't want to help, you want one guy, Patrick Peterson's your guy to do it. But you see Drew, look at the space. I mean, there is a crater created there for Drew Brees to take off. The eyes, the instincts, again, I call it the sixth sense of Drew Brees knowing when to take off. Tenth career rushing touchdown for that mobile quarterback, mm. Drew Brees. He takes it in. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Bud Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. And by United Airlines, the world's most flyer-friendly airline. United, fly the friendly skies. Well, here's the tandem that everyone fears on the defensive side of the ball in the business. Sean Payton, Drew Brees, that last drive, seven plays, 39 yards, and Brees being Brees when he can't beat you with his arm, takes off in the red zone, nice big touchdown run. Andre Ellington is back deep to receive this kickoff. From Thomas Morstead, a line driver that backs up Ellington into the end zone. He brings it out. He is wrapped up and brought down at the 19-yard line by Traveris Cadet. Another one of those undrafted free agent players from two seasons ago. A backup running back. They love what the kid can provide on offense, but a special teams demon as well. Now big time pressure on the Cardinals. They got the opening kickoff, marched 80 yards for a touchdown, and since then every possession has ended up with a punt. Well, we've mentioned Junior Gallette, Cameron Jordan, Akeem Hicks. These names keep coming up because the pressure has been constant. Carson Palmer is yet to get comfortable after that first round. Brendan Hall and Ellington in the backfield. Carson Palmer. Gets time and fights Larry Fitzgerald. That's the play. That's always a big connection for the Cardinals. Up to the 46, a pickup of 26 on the play. Well, Jabari Greer in coverage there in that zone. You see Hawthorne trying to get up underneath that zone. But listen, if you're trying to get a drive started, go find number 11. Carson Palmer knows that. They might need to force feed him the ball on this drive, spur on this offense, get the defense back in the game, and make this a game for us. Spotted at the 45. Fitzgerald, four catches, 55 yards. What's coming? Palmer gets rid of it and connects to, Mal to Michael Floyd into Saints territory down to the 42 and on the first down. So Palmer hits two in a row. Well, and Rob Ryan dials up a little bit of pressure. Kenny Vaccaro's just a little, a hair late on getting to Carson Palmer. Great delivery by number three, Carson Palmer. Palmer, 15 for 29, 151 yards. Corey Sperry is in at tight end, and he motions. That's Jim Dre motioning. Ellington turns the corner and gets down to the 39-yard line. Pick up a three on the play. Jim Dre comes in here, replacing Robert Hausler. You'll see him in motion. You're going to get him out on the edge, getting the block on Kenny Vaccaro, the, the rookie safety. <laughs> Kenny's a stout safety there. You, you saw him kind of bob the head back of Jim Dre a little bit. But Jim is one of those guys that catches everything thrown his way. Good in space blocker. 
adds a lot to this Bruce Arians led offense. They've got two tight ends in it's Gray in motion and Sperry to the right as well. Ellington, play fake. Palmer in trouble, gets rid of it, incomplete. Big time pressure again by the Saints. That time Martez Wilson, the third year man out of Illinois. Well, right, right when I get done, you'll see Jim Drake coming this way. Actually, Martez slips up under him, and then he's just relentless, chasing, chasing him down. And then, honestly, great job by Carson just getting rid of the ball and avoiding that loss of yardage, avoiding the negative plays. Big third down play coming, and they get loud in the dome. This is the third down yardage where they have really struggled in Arizona, but medium yardage, four to seven range. He gets rid of it and completes for Michael Floyd. That's how you quiet the crowd if you're the Cardinals. They made a big play, Kenny Vaccaro with a stop 20 yard gain on a third down. Good pass from Palmer who faced the blitz. Well, great job too, Rob Ryan dialing up pressure all from this right side over there. They're trying to get Carson Palmer, but what you love about Michael Floyd is this right here, this finish, bam, Kenny Vaccaro comes up to make the hit, add another four yards on that after contact. First down at the Saints 19, Richard Mendenhall motions. Palmer throws, and it's intercepted, Kenny Vaccaro! And he's brought down by Alfonso Smith on the return up to the 38-yard line. The pass intended for Rob Hausler and Vaccaro comes up with the interception. Well, this is Carson again. I'm just going to assume it's the pressure that's been getting to him all day long that is frustrating his throws. That inherent throws, Kenny Vaccaro, nice interception, big play for the rookie. First NFL interception for the rookie out of Texas, and it was, Kenny Vaccaro. And it was a great play. You watched his eyes. I mean, he was reading Carson Palmer the whole way. An eye on Rob Hauser, the tight end, and an eye on Carson Palmer, your quarterback. Now Breeze starting from the 37, handing to Pierre Thomas. And it's a couple up to the 39. Take another look at this interception. Well, you're going to see Rob Hauser get out here and kind of break, but it's almost like Carson thought he was going to come sit down. And when he breaks out, you see the ball sail over his head. Kenny Vaccaro right there. Again, the eyes and the instincts of this young rookie. We've got two young rookies, both wearing 32, both playing that safety position. Tyron Matthews, instincts, ball hawk. Kenny Vaccaro, the same thing right here for New Orleans Saints. They are thrilled to have him in their defensive backfield. Each of them getting their first NFL career interceptions. Right now, it's the Saints in control with a 24-7 lead here in the fourth quarter. Off the play fake. Bree steps up. And looking for Lance Moore. Couldn't hold on. So Rob Powers on the coverage on Lance Moore. This is one of the shot plays that everyone fears of, you know, Drew Brees and Sean Payton. The, the, what, what they do, here's Lance Moore, and he's the guy that, that Drew is going to try to get the ball to. But it was a max protection type system. Lance gives him the double move. He gives that head nod, trying to get the eyes back through 79 there. 79 is an eligible receiver. 79 and, is eligible. And then you see Tyron Matthews, number 32, flying in there, hoping for that big splash hit on Lance Moore. They bring in Bryce Harris as a tight end to the right side. A tackle who's eligible. That pass for Jimmy Graham. And he's out of bounds with a first down at the Cardinals 43. Tyron Matthew covering on the plane. Jimmy Graham beat him again. Well, again, it's hard to see if he was all by himself, but you see Matthew in trail there. Just the matchup nightmares that Jimmy Graham creates and then the spot-on accuracy of Drew Brees. Eight catches, 127 yards, and one touchdown for Jimmy Graham today. He came into the game tied for sixth in... Receiving yardage in the NFL. Pierre Thomas is stopped. Short of the line of the line of scrimmage. Jasper Brinkley and 
Alameda Ta'amu on combined on the tackle. And if you joined us late, again, condolences go out to Dan Williams, the nose tackle of the Arizona Cardinals, whose father was killed in a car accident Friday on his way from Memphis to New Orleans to see his son play. One of those tragedies that you never want to deal with, but Bruce Arians, the, I guess the experience you would call it last year being in Indianapolis with Chuck Pagano and what they went through there, probably not a better coach, head coach in the business to handle this with the Arizona Cardinals. Second down and 12 out of the shotgun. Breeze waits, goes short to Pierre Thomas. And he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Time for Kurt Menefee with an update. Kurt. Bengals scored the first 14, Green Bay the next 30. Bengals have put up two straight touchdowns. This catch by Marvin Jones pulled a little closer. The extra point was blocked, so it's 30-27 in the fourth quarter. Sam and Heath. Oh, that's turned into quite a game, huh? Yes, well, Aaron Rodgers, there's no escaping him. You might score fast, but you know how quickly they can score. And the Bengals coming back after being down, so that's quite a finish. They've lined up here. The Saints trying to take total control of the game. Leading 24 to 7. Drew Brees, another outstanding game. His pass for 326 yards. Saints decide to use a timeout on third down. Here in the dome, Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham. They've hooked up eight times in the game. Today's game is sponsored by Toyota Care. Saints with a 24-7 lead, and Drew Brees is having another strong game with two touchdown passes, 326 yards passing. And boy, he's been perfect on some throws. It's been spot on. The first Robert Meacham touchdown, great play design. The second one, Jimmy Graham, man-to-man -man coverage with Jeremiah Bell. Drew just easy pickings. And then the third one, they spread out the defense. Drew sprints through the heart of the defense for a 9- or 10-yard touchdown. And the offense has controlled the ball so well for the Saints. They've had 29 plays here in the second half to only 14 for Arizona. And they've done it with a non-existent run game. Darren Sproles has had a few nice carries. Pierre Thomas has been bottled up most of the day. Lance Moore heading off to the Saints locker room. And hopefully that's just some precautionary measures. Let's see if we can get a report on that. Saints have only run the ball 13 times in the game. Third down. Have to get to the 33-yard line for a first down. Everybody out. Breeze throws and connects for a first down to Marcus Colston. Colston with his fifth catch of the game, a gain of nine on the play. And the Saints keep the drive alive. Well, the beautiful thing about this is the details that Bruce Arians was preaching to his offense about getting to the sticks, knowing the down and distance, the little details. That's what Marcus Colston just gave Drew Brees. You know, it was a third and manageable situation. He pushed up two yards past the sticks, set it down, and Drew just put it in the pocket. The toss to Pierre Thomas. Trying to get outside. He's bumped out of bounds by Carlos Dansby at the 26-yard line. Gain of four on the play. Well, the Saints, they put up some good numbers as Drew Brees has connected with eight different receivers and now has a streak of eight straight games with passing over 300 yards. Darren Sproles has run a little bit. Yes, the and return then, game as well. He's yeah. been tough to deal with as always. And he's caught four passes. Yes, and then the nightmare Jimmy Graham. Eight Same. receptions, 120-plus yards. I believe that was Sam Ocho that went to the Cardinals locker room that he checked out. He actually had a boot, uh, a boot uh, on his left foot, I believe. Breeze in trouble, runs out of it. Nice moves, and he slides down inside the 15-yard line. We have to mention that with all his passing, Drew Brees has been running. Well, here's your calculated effort. You come around the corner here, but are you going to take the chance to swat at the ball? You see Darnell Dockett right under John Abraham and Dockett swat at the ball instead of grab the legs for the sack, and then it ends up for a big game for Drew Brees. This is that nature of Drew Brees again sliding, feeling the pocket, feeling the presence around him. He had a seven-yard touchdown run. That was a 17-yard first down run. And he's the leading rusher in the game for the Saints. Which is never a good thing, despite the fact <laughs> that they're winning. 
Pierre Thomas gets outside. Five. And out of bounds at the four-yard line. Tyron Matthew and Patrick Peterson take him down. Charles Brown, your left guard right here. Watch him. Key ingredient on the success of this play. He gets out. He is reaching, reaching John Abraham. That is a very difficult block for your left tackle. He gets his head across, makes John Abraham stretch that corner, and then Pierre Thomas does the rest. I think this offense of the Saints is wearing down. As if they haven't already worn down the Arizona Cardinals defense, they're in the process of doing it. Absolutely. This defensive front, though, has had adequate pressure. They've done their job today, especially in the run game. It's got to be team defense when you play Drew Brees. First and goal at the three. The fade for Kenny Stills is overthrown. Time for an update. Kurt, what's happening? Well, Drew Brees ran for a touchdown earlier. How about Christian Ponder running for two today? This one tied the game with Cleveland. They have tacked on a field goal since. Both teams fighting for that first win. Minnesota up by three in the fourth quarter right now, Sam Lee. Take away Adrian Peterson, Christian Ponder runs for two. <laughs> Got to get those points somehow. And it takes, it takes all 11 plus some guys coming off the bench to stop AP. Second and goal, Saints at the Cardinals three. Ready. Ready two wide receivers, two backs to toss to Pierre Thomas. Trying to follow Collins, but good penetration by Carlos Dansby to trip up Pierre Thomas. Well, we... We talk about wearing down this defense. I mean, John Abraham, Carlos Dansby, these boys haven't tapped out yet. Frosty Rucker penetration, you know, into that offensive backfield. Pierre Thomas, just nowhere to go. John Abraham there uh, standing up. Jed Collins in the backfield. Um, Got to give some effort, some credit to this defensive front. They've been active. They've been persistent against the run. Saints controlling the football here in the second half. It is third and goal. And Jimmy Graham gets in. Touchdown. Drew Brees took a big hit, but made the play to Jimmy Graham. Well, we always talk about picking your poison. How do you cover the nightmare that is Jimmy Graham? Patrick Peterson, I'm not sure there's a better corner that's physically gifted enough to match up one-on-one. -on -one. But this is what you deal with. If you're going to man up, Jimmy's too big. Drew takes a hit, still stands in there and delivers the strike. Carlos stands me with the pressure. Not enough. Too late. Second touchdown of the game for Jimmy Graham. point and the Saints who gave up the first score of the game well and when you're Jimmy Graham touchdowns and spiking that ball over the goalpost never get old eight years with the New Orleans Saints and Drew Brees puts up these magnificent numbers 76 games with two or more touchdown passes <laughs> 12 plays, 63 yards, six and a half minutes on the drive. And in the second half, New Orleans has had 36 offensive plays to 14 for Arizona. They kick off by Morstead, and Ellington takes a knee. 5.25 to go here in the fourth quarter, and the Saints have put this game away as they look to go 3-0. And uh, as the boys in the studio mentioned, the last time that that happened, the Saints went to the Super Bowl and won it. We were, and you helped them get there. We were hoisting the Lombardi late in the year, and I know that's where every team's goals start. And I know Sean Payton well enough to know he's not focusing on that right now. He wants to win this game, put it to bed, and then catch up on week four. And credit the Saints. They have handled some injuries. Roman Harper, we hardly yes. mentioned him at all. The starting safety out of the game. Roderick Bunkley, the starting nose tackle, this completion to Alfonso Smith, who has the touchdown in the game for Arizona. Yes. Cardinals started this game great. Opening kickoff, 80-yard drive, 7-0 lead, everything looked good. And since then, the Saints have done a great job. Well, that says a lot about, I think, the, the mastermind of Bruce Arians. When you script those first 15 plays, you, know, you, you get to really kind of handpick what you want. And as the game goes on, so much of it depends on your players manufacturing effort and points and scores. Carson Palmer hooking up with Larry Fitzgerald. 
for the first down. Pickup of nine on the play. Fitzgerald, five catches, 64 yards. Carson Palmer, 18 for 34. 187, one interception. Feels the pressure going deep down the field, and it's intercepted. And brought back by Keenan Lewis. Great play on the ball by Keenan Lewis. He saw the launch point from Carson Palmer. Watching, watching the ball. And again, you know, what's the story of this game for Carson Palmer? It's been pressure. They're only rushing four. You see the boys, Junior Gallette, but Cam Jordan once again forcing Carson to step up in the pocket. And there you go. Walker's there to meet him in the pocket. Carson has to launch it deep. Keenan Lewis, great play on the ball. Second interception thrown by Carson Palmer in the game. Fourth this season. And the Saints with the ball at their 40-yard line. Keenan Lewis, who played four years with the Steelers, was a starter last year. First time he became a full-time starter and signed as a free agent. The Carson Palmer frustration over the inability to come through offensively and turn the ball over. That's Kyrie Robinson, the rookie out of West Texas A&M, getting a chance to play with Mark Ingram down with a toe injury. Kyrie Robinson. And Kyrie had a hard a special, running back. Yes, I mean hard, hard and physical. It's 220 plus. Doesn't quite look it in person. Uh, Sean Payton loves with this kid. I think the potential that he sees Kyrie Robinson bring to the table. Ball secure, a downhill north and south running back. Um, it's good for the another undrafted rookie free agent that Mickey Loomis and Sean Payton found waiting in the wind and a player they're really excited about. Now the Saints can go to the running game. And it bursting through again is Kyrie Robinson. He's fought six feet, 220 yards, 220 pounds, excuse me. Uh, 23 years old, out of West Texas A&M. You know, and you see the kind of the burst of speed that they like. And also with the finish there, the little wiggle, but you see the low hit by the defender and you see him keep his balance and squirm away for an extra couple yards. Sean Payton is huge on the, what they call yak yards, or YAC, yards after contact. And that's what they feel that Kyrie gives them that maybe they lost when Chris Ivory went to the New York Jets. Ball at the Cardinals, 45 yard line. Straight ahead against this Robinson breaking a tackle. And quite a presence for Kyrie Robinson. Again, you get to see a lot all in one run. Just let this thing play out for you. Watch this stiff arm. Put the hand on the helmet. I think that was Jeremiah Bell. I'm not quite sure. Excuse me, no. It's Matthew coming up to make the open field hit. And Kyrie just puts that hand right on the right place in the spot of that helmet. And then off to the races. Coming down. To the two-minute warning, the Saints in total control with a big 31-7 lead. And the ball to 24, the toss back. And cut back by Kyrie Robinson. Look at him battle for yardage. First chance to run the ball in the NFL for Kyrie Robinson. He's making the most of it. Two minutes to go. the game for the State Farm post game show. Highlights of some great games. 79 is an eligible receiver. 79 is eligible. That's Bryce Harris. He's in the game. A big tackle as an extra tight end. Highlights of Green Bay at Cincinnati. Mm. The Bengals lead 34-30 with just under four minutes to go. Yep, Green Bay just got that ball back. Good storylines there. Kyrie Wait. Robinson, by the way, four carries. Wait, 38 yards. And this time it's Pierre Thomas busting through. Holds on to the football. Gets down the 11 yard line. Uh, this is what you hate to see. This defense has been on the field a bunch today. Pierre Thomas, you know, again, you see Darnell Dockin there fighting for space. Carlos Dansby getting tied up with the offensive lineman. And then Pierre Thomas just finishing a great run. Arizona Cardinals will play at Tampa Bay next week against the winless Tampa Bay Buccaneers who were beaten Ouch. in New England today. They're 0-3. Cardinals will go 
to Bradenton, Florida for the week. workout yep. for the week, and then we'll play in Tampa next week. The Saints will play the Miami Wait, Dolphins right. next week here in the Dome. If time allows, stay with us because we're going to send you for some more football. We'll send you to Cincinnati for that wild game going on between Green Bay and Cincinnati. They've gone back and forth. For Carson Palmer, a disappointing day. Very much and so. for Drew Brees, what a superb effort again. Boy, he's magnificent. Three touchdown passes. Jimmy Graham is all world at tight end with nine catches, 134 yards and two touchdowns. Well, and they, and they did all that without the efficient run game of the Saints. New Orleans Saints are 3-0. and oh. Yes, and they love it here in New Orleans. The last time that happened was 2009 when they marched to the Super Bowl and won it. For Sean Payton, a great day. For Carson Palmer, not so good. Jimmy Graham, Patrick Robinson acknowledging each other. Jimmy Graham continues to show everybody why he thinks he's the best. There are two great quarterbacks. And it was Drew Brees winning the battle of quarterbacks. Sean Payton, great return for him. Drew Brees can smile. His team's 3-0. We'll be right back in New Orleans.